Uh, well, my name is Nikki. I think most of the people know me as Mowgli. Um, I'm living here in Rotterdam for, I think, several years now, maybe five, six. Um, I think until two years ago, I started like DJing and I was already like discovering music back then, like when I was younger. Um, I work in the hospitality as a barman and like barista. And I'm gonna tell you my journey, how I came in contact with DJing until this day. I got involved with music, uh, I think, very young, because um, in my family, my dad always used to go out like at night town at like Parkzicht, and he was already like a big Italo fan. So I already knew like back then what Italo music was or like disco, and my mother used to listen to a lot of soul, funk, and boogie. And so for me, there was already like a kind of bass that I didn't really like know about. So once I got older. You know, like most of the people, you start listening like hip hop, rap, you know, and like a lot of other things like reggae and such stuff. But then later on, uh, when I started like going out and I moved here in Rotterdam and I go, got like I was going out a lot, I discovered like Italo again. And at first I was like, okay, yeah, this music was pretty, you know, like for me it was pretty like familiar. And then, uh, yeah, for me I just, I went out like every, I think every, from Thursday till Sunday, maybe sometimes even till Monday, Tuesday, I went out for like a couple of years. And um, people already knew me from like going out. And then I started living with, uh, in North, Rotterdam North, I started living with some good friends of mine from Dordrecht. And they were already like DJs, but they were like more of the tech house DJs and house DJs and also a little bit of techno. And then from there on, like, they started teaching me like, some music, you know, they gave me a USB, they said, you know, like, just practice, practice. Then I was like, okay, I really want to find my own stuff, like, find my own uh, style of music. And that is, like, what I discovered the last couple of, I think, like, three years when I started DJing also. Uh, so, yeah, that was for me, like, the beginning, how I came in contact, yeah. My journey as a DJ, it started out with a good friend of mine. I was in a DJ duo. It was first called Lauren and Ralphie, uh, at the name of Ralph Lauren. Uh, but not a lot of people like knew that it was coming from Ralph Lauren, so we later changed it to Polo Sound System. Every month we got asked for a thing, uh, even if, if it was like a small party at our uh, old hometown in Dordrecht or uh, I don't know, like at, at a friend's house party or like illegals. And um, yeah, from there on it went really fast because also you had Wilde that was opening that time. Or no, no, first it was the Geheime Tuin from uh, Kim and Kelly. And um, we already knew uh, what they were doing and we already knew it was like a good project and um, they asked us to DJ there and um, yeah we just got booked and I think from there on it was like we got questions from several people hey you want to play at our venue and also Suicide Club it was in the beginning because in the beginning we really used to play like only house stuff and um, yeah from there on it went really fast yeah a lot of people see themselves as like the main act or like the, the, the beginner opener or like the opener or like the closing act. And I think I really see myself as like the one that wants to set the vibe, you know? So I always keep searching for records that are, that have like certain, how do you say it? Um, rhythms or synths 
and for me it went really fast because then I discovered like okay boogie in every like DJs that I follow in every set I can hear like a lot of boogie tracks or yeah funk boogie things and also like Chicago sounds and back then before it was the Chicago sound you had like the paradise garage sound so it was like disco but then a little bit harder and for me I really discovered that every everything felt in this 80s section for me that was like really big to discover so then I was like okay this is going to be my sound for the next maybe a couple of years. So uh, I'm part of a collective also, it's called, uh, it's called No Friends Collective. Uh, we are a collective of friends that we actually, that was uh, yeah, a couple of friends. We already knew each other from like going out a lot. Uh, a lot of the people from the collective, they already started spinning back in the days. And I just already chilled with them even before I started like DJing. So uh, a friend of mine, Joel, he's, I think he's like more of the head chef of the collective. He uh, really wanted to like organize some parties and uh, maybe put out like a small label kind of thing. So also produce music and some people make photos or they make art. So for him, it was like, actually for everybody, it was like very quickly that we were like, okay, let's start this big thing of organizing party and like mix it with the art or with the, with the photography things that we have and uh, or with like photos making and from there on and we organized already like three parties I think because now it's a little bit because of the current situation with corona there's not a lot of going on but uh, I think in the near future you can expect a lot of music that's being produced and also on a couple of labels that are going to be uh, released yeah <laughs> Well, I have a radio show on like Operator, it's called Jungle Boogie. Uh, it is mainly focused around the boogie area. It doesn't have to specifically be like 80s or whatever, as long as it's that certain crispy sound uh, with like synths and sometimes vocals. Uh, I noticed that a lot of people that I'm like really, not really like also a fan of, but also know have, they share like this particular sound. So what I do is uh, I try to uh, yeah, invite them like each month I try to ask like a DJ that I really like respect or like somehow know that shares like the same love for the music and uh, give them like a chance to uh, yeah to to like show their like favorite boogie or funk or like slow jam related music uh, on my show and uh, you can do whatever you want you don't have to like mix it you can just like you know fade in fade out and uh, yeah that's my main uh, yeah my show <laughs> yeah. I started doing analog photography when I think three years ago four years ago I saw some people like online or in a magazine that started, started doing like, street photography and I really liked that. Also like everything was with or an SLR camera or with, like a compact point and shoot. So at the first thing I, uh, what I got is from an old lady, I got like an SLR, like Practica camera and I just started to practice and started to like get myself interested in how to develop the film and what kind of films you have. like certain brands that give like certain images like crisp images and then later on I started to like purchase a point and shoot camera and yeah it was it's just still a hobby but for me it was like okay let's just document the thing that where I'm like the most and that's like in a club or like outside in the streets and everywhere I go I just things that catch my eye I just snap it I really started to take it seriously now when uh, like because of the current corona crisis uh, you have a lot of spaces that are like empty and streets so for me it became really like okay this is gonna be my main project to just photography 
to photograph like certain things around when they are empty or, or spaces. Yeah. Uh, well, the future is a little bit un unclear for me because of the situation, but I hope to like spin more in the future and maybe uh, like produce music. But for me, uh, like this, because I didn't start like music, like DJing until like two, three years ago, that for me, like the, the digging for the, the stuff that I like is gonna be like endless. So uh, I think it's gonna take a couple of years before you see some music from me. But for now, I just want to like play the clubs and enjoy dancing and with the people. Yeah. <laughs>